Hi, I'm Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to show you real quickly uh, this newer spreadsheet we created, and it's called Tatum's Work Orders Totals by Year Per Equipment. And this is very similar to spreadsheet number 67, which gives you the totals by month. So this one has the month and the year that you can filter by. Uh, so it gives you a little bit more data, more rows of information. And then this new one here gives you just the year. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and download this and I'll show you how to um, open it up and attach it to your Tatum's database in Excel 2016, which should also work for 2019 and I think 2013. And then I'll show you how to do it with Excel 2010, which should also work for Excel 2007. It'll be very similar. And uh, then I'll also show you how to correct if you, for some reason it doesn't open, you get an error or something like that, how you can kind of start fresh and recreate this spreadsheet using the query that's that we put in there for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and download this. We're using Chrome here. Okay, so I've got the spreadsheet, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And we want to enable editing and enable content. And then the next thing I want to do is go over here to data, queries and connections. This opens up a little item on the right. Now this is Excel 2016. And so I'm going to right click on this and choose properties. That brings up this dialog here. We go over to definition and we want to change the source here. So if your Tatum's data is not on a 32-bit computer and it's not just a standalone and you're not using it on a network, then this spreadsheet will work out of the box. But if it's on a 64-bit machine or you are uh, linking to a database file that's on a network, we need to get that path and put it in here. So I'm going to go over to Tatums. I'm going to click on Tools and Networking. I'm just going to copy this path. So in this one, we're going to get the 64-bit path. So I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to right-click and choose Copy. It's all highlighted. And then I'm going to go back over to the spreadsheet. And I'm going to paste in, after where it says Source Equals, I'm going to highlight that all the way until we get to this semicolon after the .mdb. And then I'm going to, I can right click and choose paste. So that puts in the new path in. So now I'm going to click OK. And we can see it's brought in all the information. So we have our uh, totals for each piece of equipment for the year. And you can see this particular customer has some funky years. I got some typos in there. But uh, that could be, I could go back and look at that equipment and probably correct that. Um, but otherwise, uh, we can see each year for each piece of equipment and the totals for labor, parts, miscellaneous, discounts, tax, and total costs. Alrighty, so that is that and how you link that one up. And then you can obviously, you can filter this out by a specific piece of equipment, for example. I can click on that, uncheck the select all, and then just check a specific piece of equipment. So now I can look at that one. And now I can see how it's done each year as far as costs go. Um, and otherwise I could also select everything again and then go over to the years, unselect the select all, and then just choose a specific year to look at. And that's just gonna give me everything for 2017. So now if I just wanted to just grab this and go down all the way to the bottom and, and uh, do a sum, I could do that. All right, just for that spreadsheet, or I can copy and paste this to another sheet if I want to. Now, if for some reason the database does not, or you get some sort of an error message when you try to link it up to your database, uh, that happens occasionally, and so in order to fix that in this version, what we need to do is go back over to this. I'm gonna right-click here, 
and choose properties. Go to the definition. I'm going to grab this command text right here. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to right click and choose copy. And then I'm going to uh, cancel this. And I'm going to close this spreadsheet. I'm not going to save it at this point. Otherwise, you would want to save it in the future. And then the next time you bring up the data, the uh, spreadsheet, it will be linked up to your Tatum's data. You don't have to relink it every time. It'll be linked up. All you got to do is enable it. And then you might go to refresh all the data tab if you don't see the newest stuff. All right. So let me just say no, don't save in this case. And now I'm just going to open up Excel. Okay, and we're just going to create a new spreadsheet, blank workbook. And so here we're going to go over to the data. And uh, the what we want to do here is go to, uh, let's see here. It is, well, Okay, so you might not have, we don't want to use the Microsoft Access. It gives you some very hard to use uh, queries and stuff that aren't going to be useful for you in this case. So there's something called Legacy Wizards and we can use that. Now you might not have that turned on. In order to turn that on, you might have to go over here to File and then you go to Options and you go down here to, let's see, data. So go to data, and then you want to uh, check here where it says from access legacy, make sure that's checked. All right, and then you'll have that particular uh, item available to you. And so I'm gonna go back over here to the data tab, I'm already there. And uh, there is one more way that you can do it besides going to the uh, legacy wizard. And that is from, I believe it's existing connections. So if I click on that and I go to browse for more, and then I would go to my, well, what I'm going to do here is first of all, I, in order for me to paste in the path, or if you know where your path, if you know where your data path is, you can go ahead and navigate to it. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to it. I click C, Program Files x86. I'm going to go to Tatum's 2005 folder and then this file right here, Tatum's 2005 BE.MDB. Open that. And then it's going, we're just going to say Test Connection. Okay, file's already in use. We can't do it, so we need to go here, here to Advanced. Uncheck Share Deny Write and Check Share Deny None. We'll go back over here to test, and now we now it's succeeded, okay? So we click OK there, and we're just going to click OK to grab the first table out of the database. That's fine. Then, we, then we're going to click Properties once this little thing pops up, this Import Data, Properties, Definition, and that thing that I copied earlier, that entire command text, I'm going to highlight and overwrite, or just delete that, and then I'm just going to right click in there and choose paste and that's our command text. So we're going to click OK and then we're going to click OK. That's going to go out and get that data. Okay, I messed up. I, I should have changed the, it, there was an option in there to change the uh, query type. So let me go ahead and try that again. I'm going to go back over here to table range. Actually, I'm going to go to existing connections. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Browse for More. We'll go back over to that Tatum's folder on the C drive, Program Files x86 in here. And grab that file there. Click Open. Make sure that our Share Deny None is checked and the other one is unchecked. And then click Test. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Properties. Definition, change the command type here to table. That's what the mistake I made. So click, change that to table. I'm sorry, change that from table to SQL. Let's remove that text. Paste that in. Click OK. Click OK. 
and there it is. <laughs> All right, so now you can go ahead and save this as um, as the spreadsheet that you want it to be. So you can put it on your desktop or whatever, um, and you can give it the same name that we gave it. And so what I'm going to do here is just go over here to browse. I'm going to go into my downloads. And this is the spreadsheet that I downloaded. So you can just over, if it doesn't work, you can overwrite the one that you downloaded with the one that you're creating here. I'm just going to go ahead and make this a, a one to give it a different name. I'm going to save it. And so that's been saved. So one more option, and we're going to use that um, wizard, which is pretty similar, I believe. So let's go ahead and uh, close this spreadsheet. Let's go to File, Close. And then we're going to go to File, New, Blank Workbook. And then we're going to go to Data and then get data and then we're going to use that legacy wizard over here and we're going to go find it should be the same pretty much the same way as the other one um, go over here to the c drive program files x86 tm 2005 tm 2005 be.mdb we're going to open that and we want to check the share deny none uncheck share deny right uh, we can go back over to connection, test it, make sure it works. It does. Click OK. And then click OK. And then properties. And then definition. Change this to SQL. Remove that. And then paste in the command text. Uh, I could have right clicked. I, I just did, did a control V to do that. Control V is in Victor. And then click OK. Click OK, and there's our spreadsheet and our data. Now you can go ahead and save that. So either one of those techniques will work if the spreadsheet doesn't work for you the first time. All right, so now we're going to take a look at using um, Excel 2010. Okay, so I already have the spreadsheet downloaded. And here you would just go to Data, Connections, pops up this little uh, uh, dialog. You click on properties and then you click on definition and then you want to go to this. We're going to change that source here. All right. And so what I want to do is this is on a different computer. So I'm going to bring up my Tatums on this computer and we're going to go over here to network tools and networking. And copy this. This this uh, database is on a server, so it's over on the Z is in Zebra drive. So I'm going to copy that, highlight it, copy, close that out, minimize that. Come back over here after where it says source equals. I'm just going to grab, uh, highlight everything there from the C to the just before the semicolon after the .mdb, and then I'm going to right click and choose paste, and then I'm going to just go ahead and click OK here and click close and you can see it's populated with the information that we got from over on that server. So you would just save this the same way as the other spreadsheet I showed you. And the to, to get the spreadsheet uh, working if it doesn't work for you the first time, if you get some sort of an error, it's going to be uh, very similar. I can show you that real quick. Um, let me go ahead and go to Connections, Properties, Definition. I'm going to highlight the command text. Copy that. Cancel out of there. Close this. And now I'm going to close this spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. New. Blank workbook. I'm going to go and then I'm on the data tab here. Click on from access. This is like that legacy wizard in the 2016, 2019, probably 2013 version. Click on this. And now I'm going to go ahead and now here's what I need to do on in this case is I'm, I I don't have the path saved so I go to I got to navigate to it 
So I'm going to go ahead and now one one way you could do it if you don't have the path saved and we've just copied that command text, you can open up uh, Notepad. So if I open up Notepad. and just paste that command text in here so that I've got it and I can reuse that in a minute. So, but now I need to find the Tatum's data file. So I'm gonna come up here, back over to Tatum's, click on Tools and Networking. I'm gonna copy that path, close that, we'll minimize Tatum's. I'm gonna put that path in right here and then I'm gonna click on Open And it brings up our little linking properties dialog. Go to advanced. Make sure share deny write is unchecked. Check share deny none. Go to connection. Test the connection. Click OK if it works. Click OK. We can just click OK to accept the first table listed here. And then we're going to click properties. Definition. And now I'm going to come back over here and grab this text from that I saved over to the, or I pasted into this notepad. I'm going to copy that, highlight it and copy that. Come down here and change command type to SQL. Change the command text and highlight that, just remove it and then paste in and using, I'll just right click here and we'll choose paste. And then we're going to cl uh, click OK and then OK. And there's our information brought into the brand new spreadsheet, unnamed yet, so you would just save it with the same name that, that we gave it or give it a name that's meaningful to you. All right, hopefully that's been helpful for you, and thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Take care.